Aloha, I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to use Respondus Lockdown Browser for your classes. Okay, first few steps. Number one is to make sure that the students have this icon that looks like this right here. It's a globe with a lock on it. Normally it's on their docking station. It'll look like this down here on the bottom left corner or it's going to be in their application section under Lockdown Browser. And that's the special browser that they must use. They cannot use Safari or Firefox to access the test once it has been launched in Respondus Lockdown Browser. Okay? If they can't find it in here, if it's not located there, then what they need to do is they need to go into self-service and they're going to need to install this Lockdown Browser, which will then go back into their applications. Highly recommend that if students have not used Lockdown Browser uh, over the past since March, then they should actually go back in and reinstall it again. The other two items that are connected that you may want to have them update is doing the Java updates and the Flash updates. That's highly recommended that they do that before taking an assessment. Otherwise, there's certain issues that may arise. All right. So that's the, the the preliminary things you need to do prior to doing the test setup. Now here's what uh, a few areas you need to be aware of. One is in the class tools, respond this lockdown browser. This is where you do all your settings of your of your exams. Okay, so I'm gonna first of all go into your one of one of the exams. We'll say we'll go into uh, we'll go into this test. And what I'm going to show you is in the test option, something that you cannot have in here in order to do uh, the Respondus Lockdown Browser is that you cannot put, you cannot check off password. It will do that automatically after it encodes it or encrypts it. So make sure this is not checked off and you do not have a password in here. Okay, just wanted to confirm that. So the way you, you do it now, now that you have, as I see, you have a test that's already launched. What you do is you go into respond this lockdown browser. Now it's going to populate all the exams that you have created and launched into one of your sections here on the menu items, menu tabs on the left. So say for example, I want this C biology test chapter 18 to require. As of right now, it says not required. You just simply modify settings. You're going to say require. Now you can give a password. This is optional. You can give them a password to get in. You could name it whatever you want, or you can leave it blank. The, 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 the reason you're saying require lockdown browser is that when the students try to go in through Firefox or Safari, it will not allow them. It's saying it must go through this special browser in order for them to take it. Once you save and close this, what you're now going to see after this is saved, it says now it's required. So all of these that are not required students can access through uh, any other browser. Switch that just so that doesn't mess it up. So that's that's the basic way of doing that. Again, when students go in, they're locked into there. They can't do any screenshots. They can't listen to anything else. They can't do anything. And and most of the KS students are familiar with uh, the Blackboard Respondus Lockdown Browser. All right? That is the simplest method uh, or instructions I can provide on how to use Respondus Lockdown Browser. Again, it's located in your class tools under Respondus Lockdown Browser. They're all located here. And whenever you want to launch them into Respondus Lockdown Browser, you just have to modify your settings.